week six of the NFL. And the spotlight is on these Chiefs, offensive player of the year. He had a standout game one week ago with three touchdown catches. It's the Chiefs and the Buccaneers on Sunday night. It is perhaps the best home field advantage in all of football and certainly the loudest as we welcome you inside Arrowhead Stadium in Kansas City. Coming up is a rematch of Super Bowl 55 as it will be the Tampa Bay Buccaneers taking on the defending Super Bowl champions, the Kansas City Chiefs. Hello again, everybody. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, we look at this Chiefs ball club. They're off to a terrific start, unbeaten at 5-0 and through the first month and change. And you can hang a lot of this... season for him so far as you see the numbers there on your screen. Yeah, when you take a look at those numbers, they jump off the screen a little bit. Over 700 yards for the season now. A strong finish. We could be talking about Pro Bowl at the end of this. They'll start the drive here with Pacheco. That's to about the 28. Second down coming up. Are the numbers on the ground for Pacheco last week? North of 100 yards, the two scores. And, you know, you got to give a lot of credit to the O-line. We talked a lot about him, but offensive line was good, too. They're obviously in sync with each other, whether it's zone blocking, power running game, no matter what, he understands how to read them and find the creases that they provide. So, Charles, you look at this offense, and what a start to the season. Five wins without a loss. When do you think that you start believing that maybe you're in the midst of something special? Well, you and I both know every head coach never wants that thought to creep into a locker room. But the truth of the matter is, not quite at this time, because if we look at the Steelers in 2020, they're a great example. Remember, they started 11-0 then lost five of six and went out in the first round. But I think if you get toward mid-November, the Thanksgiving time frame, and you're still doing this, that's when things start to get real for a ball club. And I don't think he got there, no. He's short by maybe a foot, maybe. Call it fourth and inches. So opening drive, three straight runs, unable to pick up the first. I know the fans want to see first downs, but guess what? The coaches have reasons for what they're doing. Sometimes they've scripted it, and some of these runs, while they haven't been successful now, they may be. Kansas City taking the field for their second drive. But following the interception, they're set up nicely here, already inside the red zone, knocking on the door, if you will, first and ten. So after the INT, here's Mahomes. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. I know it was a game, but you have to sense probably a little bit of disappointment there because when it's out there in open space, I think they expect to get more out of a play, don't you? Especially when you're getting it to your guy out of the backfield. You're expecting him to be able to create something, be a little more shifty. Yeah, no doubt about it. Good open field tackle held into an okay game. Short completion, just four yards. And that'll bring up what looks to be a third in inches. Can't be more than a half a foot. They'll try for the first with Pacheco. And he is in. Touchdown, Kansas City. Isaiah Pacheco with his 17th rushing touchdown of the year. And the Chiefs use the... KC's offense ready to take over. 
So both of these teams, Charles, coming off touchdowns now, but this offense, they just had to stand on the sideline, watch their opponent author a really impressive drive to reach the end zone. Yeah, and I think you're not telling yourself the truth if you don't think there's some one-upsmanship going on right now because they just had their touchdown answered by a drive of double-digit plays that also found the end zone. Now they want to do something even more impressive to answer that one. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here, and if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. Mahomes going to throw. And his throw here is going to be incomplete. Whenever I see a drop like that, I have to kind of take a step back and check myself a little bit. So used to seeing those big guys make big-time, spectacular plays that when they drop one, I have to remind myself, we ask a lot out of these guys. Block and catch the football, not easily done in today's NFL. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he will have the Chiefs first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. Right. It's a pickup of six. Brings up second and four. Back at the 43-yard line. They go play action. Now Mahomes. He's going to look downfield for Henry. This is caught inside the 15. And all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. A big play there with a lucky number 13 touchdowns now on the year. And the Chiefs have taken the lead. Now the Chiefs offensive unit ready to do battle again. Tie ball game, still a little more than a minute to go in the half. The question, can they put something together here, try to take that lead into intermission? I would have to think that would be the goal for sure. I don't think you sit on anything here. Here's your opportunity. Push it downfield. As you mentioned, it's a tie game. So minus a disaster on your part, you've got that in your back pocket. Go ahead and try and get some points and feel great going into the half. Mahomes now on first down. And they'll set up the screen to Pacheco. There he goes left side. He's on his way. And in for the Chiefs touchdown. Isaiah Pacheco. He scored on the ground and through the air. And the Chiefs are able to strike quickly here as they are in for six. Boy, Charles, this offense is just so explosive. They lead the league in scoring. And another example of just how good they are right there on that play. Yeah, we often overstate about how it's... So here's the Chiefs offense ready for their first reps in half number two. And the points, they have come fast and furious in this quarter. You really don't want to be on the defensive side of the ball right now, do you? Because you're either thinking, my replacement may get an opportunity. Your head better be on a swivel. Totally. Or maybe I just need to get out of the game for a while because I just can't slow these guys down. They've got to figure out a way to disrupt these offenses. And typically, one guy makes a big play, and that can help change things. And they'll be looking for disruption on both sides right now. And they work this well up field across the 45. 42 yards rushing for him now on just six carries to this point. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? 
has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice because you're right, he struggled in the first half. Yeah, I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. Just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. So from Buccaneer territory now, it's first and 10, down at the 33. Working from the gun, Mahomes. Finding Henry here on the crossing route. And they're going to get this down inside the 15. Another big gainer that time. This one goes for 19 yards. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. Operating from the red zone now, Mahomes. Right back to Henry, and Henry's got it again. And the Chiefs are going to be set up with a first and goal on a pass play that moves him all the way down to the run. And he's over 100 yards now after that last catch. Already, of course, leading the NFL in receiving yardage. So he's done nothing at all to hurt his cause to stay in that spot. But I've been so impressed with how he's gotten it. Pacheco to begin the drive. And some room to work. And now off to the races down the right side. Inside the 20. And all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. Isaiah Pacheco, his 21st touchdown of the season. And the Chiefs add on to their lead. And it's looking like that win streak is going to extend another week. And we didn't even get a chance to settle in for that drive. A quick strike of 75 yards, and they find the end zone. Don't you get the sense that film study was behind this one, that they saw? And now here comes Kansas City. They have to like the position that they are in. Fourth quarter, two-score lead, and now the ball back after the INT. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. And it's nearly an interception, but it's incomplete. A turnover really would have helped him there, but not to be. Here's second and ten. Now Mahomes. And it's caught. Touchdown! Kadarius Tony, 23 yards for the touchdown. And the Chiefs have put this one to bed here in the fourth quarter. He's got them out now to a three-score lead here in the fourth quarter after that one, CD. And well, he looked right off the line like he knew that that ball was coming his way, and he secured it for six points. Yeah, and I think when you're leading by a healthy margin already, it actually loosens you up and allows you to take maybe a few more chances and definitely play with more confidence because he certainly saw something he... So now here are the Chiefs as their offense makes their way back out onto the field. If they can score here, they have a chance to make this a three-possession game and all but put things to bed.
receiver here in motion right. On first and ten, here's Pacheco. And a pretty athletic run right there as he's going to get this down inside the 40. And even 150 yards rushing now for the NFL leader coming into this ball game. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So the Chiefs in possession of the ball as we welcome you back. And you'd have to figure they're just looking to burn these final two minutes away and get out of here with a victory. by Pacheco on second down. Room here to run. And now we'll see a timeout used on defense as they stop it right out of the break with 1.57 to go in the ballgame. Interesting, Mahomes wants to throw it. He'll check this one down to Pacheco. The Bucs going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. From the 17, here's second and four. Mahomes now to throw. And that went too far in front. He couldn't reel it in. It's incomplete. They don't get the hook up there, but you really have to marvel at how precise he's been throwing the football these last couple of weeks. Oh, that's a perfect word for it, precise. Because if you're at 70% or better two weeks in a row, you have a job as long as you want one in this league, won't you? I mean, let's face it, it's not just West Coast offense either. He's putting the ball downfield as well. face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down looking to throw is Mahomes pass taken in by his big tight end the Bucs forced to use their third and final timeout and they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down
Mahomes going to throw it here. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. So many times we talk about coverage, we're just talking about a defender running with a receiver, but a big part of it is understanding where the football is, finding it. In this case, when it arrived, it wasn't a surprise, and he was able to bat it away. Now we're going to get a timeout. Here's we've got an injured Buccaneer. We'll step aside and get an update when we return to KC. week as the Saints will come to town. Meanwhile, for the Bucks, the losses are piling up as they drop to one and five now. And they will try to get back in the swing of things next week on the road. 